Hello, this is Chad Carnes, Chief Market Strategist at ETFGuide.com. Thanks for joining me today as I want to talk about Apple and a great trading opportunity that I think is setting up based on its chart patterns. First, you'll see that I've, I've, on, uh, I've displayed their homepage in which they're showing off their iPad Air that is selling from $499. Um, along with this, there's been a lot of positive media coverage of Apple, uh, one of which I'll show you here, which is uh, from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, on Black Friday in which they talk about how Apple shares got some Black Friday love in, in, in which they were rallying on Black Friday presumably because they were selling so many iPad Airs and, and iPhones and, and whatever else but uh, it didn't stop there there's also other articles such as these two um, the, the top one which says forget the China deal Apple's chart says it's a buy and that's from December 6th but what's interesting is if you start scrolling down into this article and reading it they don't really even talk about the charts they talk about the China deal more than anything and in fact when you get to the chart you'll see there's very there's there's really no analysis it's just indicators and moving averages uh, and one paragraph that they talk about how it's above its its moving averages therefore it's a screaming buy um, but I am going to take you through uh, a chart with actual analysis that shows you why Apple is not a screaming buy Quite the contrary, it's actually a great opportunity to short at these prices, and I'll show you why now. So first, let's look at Apple's long-term chart, which is right here. <clears throat> this is a chart that I provided to our technical forecast readers um, on December 7th, in which I talked about the great opportunity that Apple's chart was was setting up for for traders uh, that blue that blue arrow at the top represents December 7th when I first published this for our subscribers so you'll notice that Apple has now rallied substantially off of its 2013 lows which were down in this area and now fulfilling the inverted head and shoulders pattern target at 550 bucks and the inverted head and shoulders pattern target I'm tracing out on the screen right now the solid blue line was the neckline that broke out in uh, in early August and uh, was back tested in September perfectly and uh, before the recent rally up to new highs uh, through December 6th <clears throat> you'll also see that the stock has powered higher into its Fibonacci retracement zone represented by these blue lines it recently touched exactly its 61.8 percent retracement level which is a common occurrence during a counter trend move and thus far that level has rejected prices so the Fibonacci retracement zone is doing exactly what it's supposed to do it's attracted prices and it's also rejected prices at those levels so so far technically Apple stock is behaving exactly as one would expect but the technical adherences go on Apple's price has now reached a trend line that connects the May and August May here and August price highs uh, with now December's price highs. This is a bearish setup that's shown by the red dashed line. This pattern also represents what's called a rising wedge where the prices are rising in, in, in a smaller and smaller fashion eventually to a point where buyers exhaust themselves and would be expected that the stock would then break down through this solid red line and sell and continue its sell off. Uh, but even more Apple's volume has also picked up as it makes these new highs so you can see somewhat right here and again right here that correspond with this high and this high in Apple stock um, and it looks like that sellers are stepping in um, rejecting prices at those levels as represented by more and more volume as price spikes higher and then finally on the bottom Apple's momentum has slowed even as it makes its new 52 week highs displaying a negative divergence that's represented by this red dashed line here so what this means is that Apple stock rallied really hard off of its lows over the summer up through its August high it retreated and then it made new highs but it's not making new highs as fast or with as much oomph as it did earlier this summer all that basically means is that the interest in Apple is waning it's fading and buyers are not stepping up as strongly and price is not moving as quickly as it did previous times you know suggesting that there very well could be weakness in this area up here 
So that's the longer term picture. The following zoomed in chart shows how pre uh, precise some of these <coughs> technical setups currently are. So the trend line in red and the 61.8% Fibonacci were hit perfectly on Thursday, uh, what was that, December 5th, uh, as represented by this blue arrow. And you can see the black candle here, which means that prices popped to touch both these trend lines and then were rejected throughout the day. And since then, price has never even gotten back to that level. Um, in fact, the, the, my original forecast came out on after this candle on December, uh, December uh, 5th, uh, suggesting to short Apple. And since then, Apple prices have fallen to below 540, uh, got a recent bounce again, but then sold off again, not, uh, not yet again testing this 575 level where the Fibonacci resistance resides. So given technical resistance is so close above, a high reward, low risk, high probability opportunity presents itself. And high reward, low risk opportunities is what we look for in our trades. Uh, therefore, aggressive traders can start shorting Apple here with a stop at 575. So what the stop um, is basically means that's the point where uh, the technical reasons we're shorting the stock are no longer valid. If prices rally above this 61.8% Fibonacci level, there goes one of our technical reasons for shorting the stocks, and therefore we must change our thesis and accept the loss at 575. So at current prices of 560, with the stop at 575, that leaves around 15 points of downside risk, which is around you know around 3% loss. But the potential, I think, is high. First of all, if you have a break below this red support trend line, that will show that the trend indeed has, has turned down from up. Uh, it would suggest that lower lows and lower highs are being made. Um, and it also points to this area around 520 as the first level of support. So just from that, you can get a 40%, $40 profit uh, with only a $15 risk. So that's, over, that's around 2.5 time profit to loss ratio. Uh, just if Apple comes back to test this level here. But I think that if this red trend line breaks um, and go, zooming back out to the longer term, we'll, we could see prices much lower. I think, first of all, 500 is a more appropriate uh, level to assume in any sort of pullback just based on the size of this move alone, uh, not to mention that the 200-day moving average is down at 470 right now and rising slowly. So somewhere between 500 and, and 475 on the downside, I think is the more appropriate target, making this trade a, a very high reward, low risk probability trade and a great short opportunity. Thanks for joining me today and please check out some of our other videos at etfguide.com uh, or our Twitter feed. If you want to learn more about the Apple trade, I'm following it in our, in our technical forecast. I uh, originally posted it on December 7th and I've given a few updates since and we'll continue to update as long as our stops aren't hit and our short, uh, short continues to profit.